Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET Office. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about the Azure AI Search service or formerly known as Cognitive Search. So that we are going to see. Now basically the Cognitive Search is a term in Azure which help us to search the data over the structural and non-structural data. Now the data can be either in any blob format or any image format, any database, anything. So it helps us to find the data uh, from uh, that data source. Now the data source can be structure and non-structure, any type of the data. So that is the advantage with the cognitive search. So in this tutorial series, we are what we are going to see is the thing. So we will create the .NET Core application and in that .NET Core application, we will see like how we can upload the data on the blog stories and we will see like if there are number of the data, how we can see all those data like from the blog stories, we will see how we can see and even how we can download that particular uh, like document from the blog stories. So you can see it is got downloaded. So how we can download the data from the blog storage, how we can delete a particular blog. So all these operations we will see using the .NET, like how we can perform every operation using the .NET Core application. Next, what we will do, we will see to perform the search operation using the OpenAI over the cognitive search. We will see like how it will help us to search the data on the cognitive. We will see using the OpenAI and if we will see without the OpenAI. If we will search using the OpenAI, so it gives us the more accurate. Currently, this application is completed uh, like with the OpenAI. So how it will give now for an example, if I will search what is Shisha. So it will give us the data as expected. And if I will search like what is Angular 15, so it will give us the output like currently it has Angular 12 in my document. So basically, from where it is searching it is searching from my data source and the data source i am using the blog data store there i have put my data as an pdf and the top format where it has the information till 12 only that's why it is saying for 15 it don't have any information so this much accurate information it is giving with the uh, integration of the cognitive search and the open ai so all these information and the coding is done with the .NET Core application. So all these operations we are going to see in this tutorial series. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.